Hello, Prashant. Welcome to your video. Let's start uh, your snap for DRDO interview on yes, uh, network analysis. Okay. Yes, Can you design a low pass filter using uh, RNC elements? Pass. Sir, here I designed a low pass filter using RNC elements. You are taking voltage across capacitor as output. Yes, sir. So for low frequencies, uh, what will be the output impedance? Sir, for low frequency, output impedance will be uh, will be higher, sir, as compared to. For high frequencies? For high frequency, the output impedance is less, sir. Okay. So for the same circuit uh, to use it as a high pass filter, what can I do? Sir, we can just replace the orientation of the resistor and capacitor. Just shift the pulley. Like in the similar circuit, just change the position of RNC. So without changing position, I don't want to disturb the position. Okay, sir. Then we can take the output from uh, R, sir. Voltage across the resistor you want to resistor. take as output. Then we can get a high pass filter. Okay. So you drawn uh, a low pass filter with help of only passive elements. Can you can you sketch the low pass filter by using operational amplifier? Uh, yes, sir, definitely. It is an operation amplifier is there. I connected R and C. Can you derive its transfer function? Can you derive its transfer function? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Definitely. So in inverting type, the gain is minus of feedback network. Feedback network impedance, which is suppose Zf divided by Zf. Zf can be written as Sir, here it is, sir. Okay. I don't want that phase shift of uh, 180 degrees. Then what to do? Sir, uh, just connect the V in to the non-inverting port. Any alternative for that? Instead uh, of... Uh... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, we can connect. Yes, sir, we can connect like this, sir. Okay, fine. Let's give a square wave yes, of a time period, two milliseconds to that RC circuit. Square wave of magnitude, suppose it take one volt. Yes, sir. And of a time period, uh, 
2 microseconds or 2 milliseconds you take 2 milliseconds time period is 2 milliseconds okay, yes time. can you sketch voltage across capacitor yes sir in that uh, rc network that i have designed yes okay, for the rc circuit what we taken in the very beginning provide that input and sketch the voltage across capacitor Sir, here I superimpose the input and output. Here okay. we, can, we can see at uh, T equals to zero, the capacitor starts charging up to a point. Okay. Take the values of R and C. Take the values of R and C. Okay, sir. Uh, R is equal to 1 ohm. R equals to 1 ohm. And uh, C is equal to? 10 millifarad. 10 millifarad. Now, can you sketch? T is equal to um, time constant is RC. It's 10 milliseconds. So, to be it's in 99%, 5 of T, 50 milliseconds is the time required to reach 99%. Sir, here is the calculation, sir. Uh, the time constant comes as 50 milliseconds. Okay. So, the time constant is 50 milliseconds and uh, the time I, period is time period of the wave is 2 milliseconds, right? It's 2 milliseconds. Then at and how, much time, how much time it takes uh, uh, to reach steady state value? Sir, of the around, sir. Actually, it will take infinite time. Not exactly, uh, approximately up to 99%. Approximately 99% of the value, it will take five five times of time constant. What is five the time constant value we got? 10 milliseconds, uh, right? 10 milliseconds, 50 milliseconds. 50 milliseconds. But uh, you are showing that the dotted uh, wave, it reached to the value of uh, 1 volt or 2 volts, what are the maximum magnet break even? Sure. So within one, within 1 millisecond itself, it's reaching. Is it correct? No, sir. No, sir. It is reaching at 50. I have drawn down there. Point. So, you, you are superimposing both input and output, right? Yes, sir. I given the time period of the square wave as uh, 2 milliseconds. Yes, sir. Then half of that will be 1 millisecond. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 1 millisecond. And why you kept that uh, 50 milliseconds? First to peak or, or first to half or first half of the square wave is of a width 1 millisecond only. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. I have... Can you draw it again? Okay. Right? And I have to calculate...
sir here i can write the vout equation which is uh, 1 minus e raised to the power minus t by rc okay so at uh, 1 millisecond it will start charging up to 1 millisecond then the value at 1 millisecond is governed by this equation okay at t is equals to 1 millisecond it will be 1 minus e raised to the power minus 1 by 50 okay then from that value it will start discharging sir so does at any point it reaches to the steady state value like the almost up to 1.99 or 2 volts it, can it reach uh no is there, sir is there any possibility no sir it, it will why why it is no because sir at the moment it will reach uh it will start discharging sir and the cycle will repeat again sir okay fine let's take one more question Yes, I have voltage of uh, 12 volts. I have a DC voltage of DC voltage battery, battery of 12 volts. Yes, sir. I need voltage in terms of kV, thousands of volts. Okay, from 12 volts. I need a lot of uh, huge magnitude of voltage. Suppose say I need uh, some one kV. From that 12 volts, all we have is resistances, inductances, and capacitances and switches. Can you design a circuit with this 12 volts battery such okay. that I'm going to get a voltage in terms of K? I don't want that voltage to be continuous one. I need a I need the one kV voltage. For a very small amount of time, sir, we can do that by using the voltage doubler, sir. We have. If you want to design voltage doubler, you need diodes. Yes, sir. Diodes, I need. But diodes is what? What? All I have is. A voltage source, yes. one switch, or switches, yes, and RLC elements. Switch means not uh, that diode. Okay. Okay. Transistor. Okay. Not see if we are taking a transistor again. Again, it need uh, it's a biasing at all. Biasing. No, sir. We can't do that. No, it is very. No, sir. Without. Fine. The reason is this, sir, because that these are all passive elements, so it doesn't provide energy to the. Fine. See, we design two kinds of filters. One is passive filter, another is active filter. Same low pass filter. Yes. Suppose I pass filter water this. What are the advantages of this uh, active filters compared to passive filters? Sir, with active filters, we can have. More flexibility with the output, so we can have so that. What kind of flexibility? What kind of flexibility it is? Sir, we can provide some amplification or scalar value to the output. Amplification is an one of the reason. So, by using filter, you are doing the amplification also. Active filter, yes, sir. Amplification. So, what is the purpose of filter? Sir, the purpose of filter is to uh, select a band of frequency. Then what is the purpose of amplifier? So purpose of amplifier is to amplify the signal by. So, oh, so you mean to say the active filter is going to do both uh, selecting band of uh, frequencies and amplification also? Yes, sir. Active Then why can't it is called as an amplifier? Why we are calling it as uh, only filter? Suppose you take an one active filter with the help of uh, operational amplifier. There, the, there, amplification is happening. Can you check there once, sir? Uh, I have taken an active filter. Yes. By using operational amplifier, you designed one uh, active filter, right? Yes, sir. So in that uh, amplification is happening. Yes, sir. It is happening, sir. So can you prove by taking the formula? Yes, sir.
Fine, Prashant. Let me give you feedback. Sir, uh, earlier I have designed this using okay. low pass filter and the output I am getting is this. Okay. So here the amplification factor I can get minus R1 by R2. So minus R1 by R2 is the amplification and, factor. Yes, sir. And okay. Uh, Fine. Let me give you feedback, uh, Prashant. Yes, sir. So it is recommended uh, to do more uh, analysis on this uh, RC circuits, especially a transient part of uh, network analysis. And uh, connect that one with uh, uh, subjects like analog concept of filters okay. and uh, with the control systems also even. Yeah. So always the interview questions in uh, interviews like DRDO, ISRO, BARC will be more connected and logical Okay, more connected and logical, those are. So the, for every question, there will be a cross question. Yes, sir. Okay, if this is happening, why that is not happening? If I reduce this, what happens? If I increase this, what happens? Okay, yes, this type of questions will be mostly asked. So work on that direction so that it will be fruitful for you. Thank yes, you. Thank you.